leads to a quote. I love this quote you have in your book from Guy Kawasaki, um, and of course he was with Apple. I view failure as necessary to attain real innovation. If you want to innovate, you have to take chances. If you take chances, you will sometimes fail. So we're talking about, you know, it's okay to fail, but on the other hand, you have to know how to deal with that. Your job is not to exonerate failure when it's caused by negligence or bad will. It probably is to commiserate around failure because it's happening all over your organization. People need to be comfortable in talking about it and sharing their experiences so that you don't have your head in the sand when it's really important to understand early signs of it. Sometimes it's appropriate to celebrate it. Um, we, have, we cite in the book the example of Severin Schwann, who's the CEO of Roche Pharmaceuticals. Uh, he hosts champagne lunches for his scientific lab teams who encounter failure on their way to trying to discover the next blockbuster drugs. And he explains it quite well. He says, if I don't celebrate the nine times we're going to fail, uh, I'm never going to get the one time that's going to make the future of this company. What it is about, though, is liberating failure. It's being able to take it out of the closet, to take it from a taboo, from the other F word, mm -hmm. and make it a legitimate topic, an open topic, mm -hmm. across your organization to get the kind of candor, to get the kind of collaboration, and most importantly, to get the kind of idea flow that's gonna be necessary for you to improve what you're doing today, find what you should be doing tomorrow, and get on with that business with as little risk as possible.